Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to do two-look PLL. So first, let's talk about what two-look PLL is. But first, you need to know what PLL is. Basically, what that is, is you can solve basically the top ring around the cube in one algorithm. And now two-look PLL is exactly what it sounds like. Basically, you do it in two algorithms. Therefore, you have to look at it once, do an algorithm, and then you do look at it again and do another algorithm. So today, we're gonna walk through all of those algs. So the first step is to make all of the corners go to their correct positions. And in this case, we're gonna do this algorithm. And don't worry if I'm going a little bit fast, I'm just gonna doing an overview sort of thing. And then if you have all of the corners in their right positions, the next step is to orient all of the edges in one algorithm. And then you wanna do AUF, which is lining the U face. So let's check out how to do the corners first. So when you're doing the corners, there are two cases you can run into. The first one is where the two solved corners are right next to each other. So right here, one corner is here and one corner is here. These are correct, but they're right next to each other. The other case, is one corner is here and the other corner is, I guess, further across than right here. So it's kind of diagonal. So let's go over this case first. So in this case, we're gonna be doing a J-perm. So if you don't know what the J-perm does, it basically swaps these two corners as well as some of the other things which we don't have to care about since we're doing two look PLL. And right now we only care about the corners. So when we're doing the J-perm, we want the two solved corners to be on our left side and the two unsolved corners to be on our right. So here's the algorithm. As you can see, all four corners are now solved. However, if your corners are diagonal from each other, this algorithm will not work. You're, you're gonna have to do that algorithm twice, which is not very efficient, and that'll kind of be like three look PLL, and you don't want that. So when you have the corners diagonal from each other, it doesn't really matter which way you align it. Anyway, works fine. And the algorithm we're gonna do is a white perm. So a white perm swaps these two and these two edges, but again, we don't have to care about the edges because we're doing two look PLL. So a white perm goes like this. So you kind of want to start right here. And there we have it. All of the corners are in there home position. So there's a couple of different variants you can run into while you're doing the edges stage. So after we finish the corners, now it's time to orient the or permutate the edges. So these are only two of the shown cases. There are another two, the H and the Z perms, which I'll get to right after we finish these. And these are the U perms. So this one is the UA perm, which has a counterclockwise cycle, and this is the UB perm, which has a clockwise cycle. So starting with the UA perm, this one, the algorithm goes like this. So you want the cycle to be away from you, and you want the solved bar towards you, and here's the alg. Make sure you drag. And there we have it. The next one is the UB perm, which as I said, has a clockwise cycle. And for this one, we're gonna do the very standard M move out. So make sure you pull. And there we go. Those are the two U perms. So as I was saying before, there are two more cases you can run into. This one's a Z perm where these two edges are switching and these two edges are switching. And of course you also have the H perm where these two edges are switching and these two edges are switching. So first let's look at the Z perm. How you do this algorithm is like this. Make sure you use two fingers again. And same thing. And there you go. And of course you can do the AUF if that's bothering you. And then you also have the H perm. This one's really simple. Make sure, as always, to use two fingers for M2. I don't know how much times I've said that, but it's really important. U2, M2. And so there you have it. So that's gonna be all for 2 look PLL. I really hope you guys enjoyed, maybe learned something. 
And of course, all the algorithms I taught today are gonna be useful in the future. And that's why I specified them by name, such as Jperm, Hperm, Zperm. And if you want to see the full list of all of the PLLs, I recently made another video, which you can find somewhere up there in that corner. And so yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.